I'm Katie Gimbar, and I'm answering questions about my flipped classroom. This is part two of what if students don't watch the lecture videos. Recently I was presenting at a summit and talking to a group of teachers about their flipped classroom and they were implementing this, this program and they were describing a situation where a large group of students were not watching the lecture videos and then they felt the need they had to reteach the topic and, and go back over everything with them. And that's really not what we want to have happen. So I had two suggestions for them. First is to scaffold for your students. Watch the videos in class for the first couple of weeks, really highlighting for them what you want them to do. Pausing, rewinding, giving them an expectation for your class. For me, I expect my students to copy down notes, the definitions, a couple of examples, and bring any questions they may have to class. And this is always the way I start my class, after a video. I'll answer any questions they have, and we'll have a little discourse about the, you know, the video, and then they get started. The second suggestion is, don't re-lecture. If you re-lecture, you're sending the message that you're going to do that. They don't have to come to class prepared. You're giving them the opportunity to dictate how your class is going to go. Do not let students decide if you're going to flip your classroom. If you set that expectation and stick to it, and you've scaffolded for them, modeled what you want them to do with the videos, then you're going to reduce the number of students that aren't going to watch. And hopefully now your class is more engaging and hands-on, um, so the kids are going to want to be a part of what's going on in the classroom. So with a fewer number of students that aren't watching the videos, you can really handle those on a case-by-case -case basis. You can send them back to the computer to have them watch the, the video while you're working with the rest of the class. 